No, my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. What a goal that is. Hello and welcome back to the channel. I'm Michael, aka The Crusher, and today's episode number 68 of the Road to Ronaldinho, the second part of Weekend League, was 6 and 1. Let's get into it. So, this is the team we're currently using. Again, I say it most episodes. There's not many things I can actually upgrade at this moment in time that I think is worthy. Um, they're all doing a very good job, especially uh, for Keir, Ben Yedda, and Flashback Benzema. Also, bought Ronaldinho too. But I'll probably left back. And then the the two centimeters, the two DMs. So really happy with Chiruri as well. But yeah, we're over 400,000 coins. I claim my squad battles rewards. And we're just holding on to those packs at this moment in time. Um, purely because I don't really want to... I want to open them. But at the same time, what are the chances of packing like a, a Thiago Jal to sell on? Or a Vinicius or Ronaldo? Slim to none. So I'm just going to hold them until like... If there's something good for freeze, can open them then. Or we'll just wait for Team of the Year. You also know, got notice I got an ultimate pack there. That was for 200 champs. Scoring in 200 champs games with a full gold squad. So that was fairly simple to do. Um, and then, yeah, into uh, SBCs, which we'll probably do over the next day or so. Um, and it's the show, first showdown of FIFA 22. Sewell against PK. Bayern against Barcelona. I believe they play Tuesday. I think they play Tuesday. They might play Wednesday for all I know. Uh, but, you know, I want to do the PK SBC. 8 pace, 8 to defend, and 8 to physical compared to Sewell. Uh, there's only an inch height difference in it, but Sewell's got 40 jumping, 62 and 56 balance. PK looks like a little bit more agile um, and potentially could play DM if he gets uh, an upgrade. The reason I want to do PK as well, one, because he was top of this game for so long, but then two, with Dani Alves going back to Barcelona, we already know there's going to be a flashback to whatever time period down of his career during team of the year like we saw with Marcelo in FIFA 21 uh, and a link in nicely obviously Marquinhos a link in as well but having like the green link in and then maybe Fakir as calm if he's still sort of good then uh, but yeah there's going to be a plenty of options but I just think I'll prefer PK over Sewell um, and also we'll do Nakamura as well but there's going to be loads of SBC so we could open packs um, should we need fodder in the club but we have 400,000 coins at the moment because the squad battles things that I claimed before and by the time Team of the Year comes around, hopefully 700, 800,000 coins. So we'll be in a very, very good position to start upgrading it um, to the sort of new cards that we see around that time. Then and into Future Stars, maybe Future Stars, Xavi Simmons. Obviously, he's in the game this year. Who knows where it could go? All depends on red picks as well. Icon swaps, so many variables that can change what we're doing. But yeah, Weekend League, we are 6 and 1, a good start. If you want to hit rank 2, which we've done every week apart from 1, where we hit rank 1, end of October, we're going 6 out of 13 games, which is fairly straightforward. If you want to hit rank 1 and get the best rewards possible, 10 wins, 3 losses out of 13 remaining games. In today's episode, we're going to do the next 7 games, and then Monday's episode will be how many games need to hit the rank, and then rewards as well. But yeah, let's get into some games. First up, Salah, that new PK uh, for Keir, um I presume it's numbers up Jota, left wing, because he had Firmino up top. But yeah, let's hope we can go 7-1. Uh, oh, that's a great ball. Square it. Let's go. He played the offside drop. Wrong time. 1-0 for Bill Fakir. Oh, my God. Green time, weak foot, top corner, 2-0. Team down the line. Too easy. Why have I let him cut back? Oh, come on. That post. Here. Let's go. 3 1. And we get the rage quit at a hard time. Wasn't expecting it because I thought it was sort of even. Um, good goals from Ben Yedda. Well, definitely Ben Yedda, the second goal. Uh, but yeah, um, he said to quit out at half time. It is what it is. We move on to the next one. Uh, but most importantly, we're now 7 and 1. Next up, facing uh, Flashback Benzema, Vinicius, Fred, a Red, Bill Hernandez, Varane, and Marquinhos. So, uh, yeah, Varane is going to cause me absolute nightmares. I hate playing against him. Benzema. Oh, look it. Nah, come on. He's all starting from him running to his own player. Come on. Chip him. Come on. Let's go! What a finish that is from Fekir. Went very wide, but we still managed to get it in. One all. How has he got past him? How has he got past him? Horrific defending. Nice. 
Come on. Ow! I'm not even trying to time it. Look at that connection. Oh, that's game over. Oh, it's poor defending again. Poor defending. It's cost me. Let him go down line twice. Cut it back twice. And we lose. Uh, hopefully one day we'll learn uh, not to let people go down the byline. But it is what it is. We've lost. Uh, and we are now 7 and 2. We'll be looking to bounce back against. Wow. Wow. That could be the most meta team that I've seen in FIFA 22. Let's go! 1 0. I mean, come on. He tries the corner glitch. It doesn't work. It just falls for him perfectly. Let's go. Come on! 2 1. Ronaldinho. Didn't get him on his right. There we go. That's why you get him on his right. What a goal that is. 3 1. One. No, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What a goal that is. A scorpion kick from Kareem Benzema. What a goal on the stroke of our time. 4 1. On up here. Let's go. Come on. That post. Benzema. What a goal that is. Theo intercepting the quick corner. Bursts upfield. Crosses the back post. 5 1. Are we getting the rage quit though? We are indeed. A Theo uh, breakaway. Kareem Benzema hat trick is enough to get the rage quit. Uh, we've bounced back after that defeat and we're now 8 and 2. Next up. Uh, Varane, Neymar, and Kunky Player of the Month, Flashback Benzema. I mean, whenever I see Varane, I just like cry internally. Like, it's so difficult to break down. Okay. Oh, come on. What, the people like that really annoy me. Kamikaze ZL, absolute terrible person. I hope you get really bad rewards. Just so annoying. So, after that shambles, we're playing a uh, mid Carlos at centre back. Kante, Mane, Road to the Knockouts, Bernardo as well. Yeah, hopefully we can go 9 and 2. Go on. Let's go, Ben Yedda. Great turn in there. 1 0. Oh, that's lovely. Ronaldinho, what an assist. Great pass to Fakir. 2 0. Ref. Penalty? I mean, it's a dodgy one at that. But, um,. Do I do what I try and do normally? We'll try it. Oh, that is top binge. You don't stop those. 3-0. Let's go, Vinicius. Go on. Round him. There we go. 4-0. Are we getting the rage quit? We are indeed. Uh, yeah. Played very, very nice in that. Varane. Maybe I'll find a way of getting the better of him. Um, but yeah, we win that game and we are now 9 and 2. And now we're facing Hero Robbie Keane, Red Salah, Trent, although off Ken, they'll still be quite good. Uh, and a gold, Renato Sanchez, and Bruno in midfield. Oh, go on. No, what is heading? Why is heading so broken? If he volleys that, it's a goal and 1 0. That's a nice ball. No missing that time. Ben Yedder, 1 0. One Vinic up against a five-star skiller. Don't get mugged off. Oh, come on. That's lucky. Nice. Good ball. Benzema. Come on. 2-1. Oh, what a ball that is. What a ball that is. What a goal that is. Fantastic assist from Ronaldinho. 3-1. Oh, go on. On the volley. 4-1 on the stroke of half time. Are we getting a rage quit? Yes, we are. Well, we're playing some great FIFA tonight. Uh, yeah, but we get the rage quit. And we are now 10 and 2. Next up, facing Miura, Nakamura, Ginola, Flashback Benzema, and uh, three of the squad foundations card from Eredivisie. So, yeah, let's hope we can get a win. Go on. Go on. Oh, what a start that would have been. How's that not gone in? What just happened? 
Oh, that's a nice ball through. Nakamura, just got to watch the back post. Okay, don't watch the back post, watch the top corner. Wow, great goal. Ah, oh, nice. Nice, Ronaldinho. 2 1. Nice. Ah, oh, great ball. Let's go. 3 1, right before half time. Perfect time to score. Two goal advantage. Ah, oh, lovely. Absolutely lovely from Ronaldinho. Take your time. Ben Yedder's there. Oh, my God. Oh, that's a nice turn. Let's go. 4 1. And once again, we have a rage quit. 4 1 up. Playing some nice FIFA. Uh, and yet, we are now going to be 11 and 2. Yeah, 11 and 2. On to the next one. In the final game of the episode, uh, Appenda, uh, David Neres, Gravenberch, JJ Okocha. Hopefully, we can end on a win. And we are. We're getting a free win. So, uh, thank you very much for that. It makes a very easy end to the episode, and I'm buzzing with that. Thank you very much, Matty Gorman. Much, much appreciated. Uh, and we are now 12 and 2. So, yeah. Not only do I cut, that's why I say it like that. But, yeah, we're just gonna, we'll uh, leave the end episode there. We've got six games left. That's going to be in tomorrow's episode. We need to go 4 and 2 to hit rank 1. We've got a good chance. We'll have bottle it. Highly likely, but you're used to that by now. We got 15 and 5 every week and had to win one from two. Couldn't do that. But yeah, we're going to uh, edit today's episode and then we're back for playing the games tonight for tomorrow's episode later on. Uh, and then in terms of content, it's just hit six o'clock. Just give you an idea of timings. We've got the new uh, three of the four cards sorry, that have come into packs. Um, we've also got this Lucas the Metro SBC, which is mm, average three star, four star. If he's four star, four star, maybe a high attacking work rate could be decent. But I think it's an 83 and 84 and 85 squad. Mm, it's, I personally think it's slightly expensive. But obviously, it gets the perfect link to that signature signings Baku, which is an objective card. Uh, but you can see on the right, and you can't see on the right, uh, but it's Bruno, Trent, and Anthony. But I will show you um, in concept players. So we get four cards. Uh, and the other was the Europa League one as well, which I'll talk to you about. I could potentially get the Europa League one, but uh, I'm not going to. Um, he was a headliner last year as well, if that's a quick clue. Uh, so get Bruno there. 78 pace, 86 dribbling, 88 shooting, 73 defending, 91 passing, 80 physical. You're going to whack his shadow on there, aren't you? High, high work rate. It's going to be a very, 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 very nice card. Obviously, he's going to get better cards as well um, later in the year. But at this moment, very, very nice. Obviously, links into that perfect link into Cristiano Ronaldo. Trent, 8-9 to nine right back. For me, uh, a great centre mid. What is the chem style that was shooting in physical? Is it Gladiator? Because that would probably be a good one if you want to play him as a centre mid. Move from right back to centre mid. Otherwise, you're probably going to stick a shadow on him. Um, that 90 passing will be incredible as well. 94 crossing, 92 long pass. Very, very nice card indeed. Uh, and the third one was Anthony. Obviously, it could be a rival to David Neres as well. Uh, if you don't do the SVC, 5-star, 3-star, 99 agility, 94 balance, 97 acceleration, 94 sprint speed. He will feel incredible on the ball. If you start him, he's going to get boost to his shooting as well. But even if you bring him on as a super sub, he'll feel incredible. 86 in poach as well. So, it's a little bit better than Vinicius. Um, let me show you Vinicius' his stats. Uh, he's only got 79 composure. So... In fact, he's he's quite similar, really. 95 pace compared to 99 pace. Uh, he's got one better dribbling. He's got one minus one shooting, three better passing, uh, 11 better defending, but why do you know we need to defend? Uh, and minus two physical. So I'd say it look on a quite a similar level. So interesting to see what his price will uh, fall to. Uh, but looks like a very, very nice card. Uh, and then the other card was Toto Ikambi, uh, left mid from Leon. Obviously, had that headliners last year. Three star, four star. Three star kills it for me. Um, I got Oli on a Soul Shy Hero on my uh, PlayStation account. And although he's good, I'm in like Division 8. Um, someone just started playing on it. And the three star skills, it proper hampers players. Um, so for me, I need minimum four star skills just to feel a little bit better on the ball. Uh, but yeah, that is the other uh, of the four cards that have been put in. No new objectives, the one that I can sort of see anyway. Uh, but yeah. That is it for today's episode. Hopefully, you have enjoyed it. If you have, hit that like button. Comment below how you got on in Weekend League. You'll probably finish Weekend League by the time this video goes out. Let us know what rewards you got as well. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.